had a pretty good result last week in, in both title Tuesdays. Rating has increased a bit. I think a couple of weeks ago I was like low 2600s. So yeah, the goal is to hopefully find some good form or keep my good form. What do you use to move the pieces so fast? I use um, my hands, mainly my right hand and this mouse. I like this mouse. It's a Logitech G402, but it's the one I'm most used to. I've gotten used to over the years. So that sound means there's now less than 90 seconds. So really not too much time to like, mentally prepare here. I'll probably play down in definitely the first round. If I can win the first round, probably the second round as well. So just have to stay focused. I'm not going to run a prediction today. The last couple of title Tuesdays, I didn't have predictions. I did much better, so keep it cleaner, hopefully. Okay. Emote only. Here we go. Have a knight c3 Sicilian. a6, bishop d3. Knight c6, bishop e2. Some theory here. Yeah, d4, we transpose. And now it's a Taimanov. b5. Not sure if this is the best approach. Looks interesting though. Bishop f3. I mean, something is going to check me along the diagonal. I'll play king h1. I have this move now. Knight d5, then I en passant the knight. I guess queen c7. Hmm. I guess I still go for it. Knight e4. I need to take. Bishop moves back, I have knight d6. Now I have the bishop pair. D4 I can take and take. Not sure if I was supposed to provoke G6. Dark Spurs are a bit weaker now. G or F5 is a move. Just Bishop D2. C, uh, D4, C4. Oh, there's bishop B4, though. Actually, then I take and hit the knight. Tricky position. I guess I'm maybe threatening B4. Maybe just rook C1. Expecting takes and maybe knight, knight d5 I take on a6 though. Rook b8, b3.
Yeah, I don't really want to trade, but hard to stop. Now, this is a very solid construction. I think the long-term idea is to exploit the pawn, d4. Black wants to play knight e3. Hmm. Not pretty. Trying to be solid. I'm threatening to take the knight now. I need two rook a one. Just go for it. I saw Queen D2 coming. Okay. Oh, that took work. Took a lot of work. 66 moves. I don't have my heart rate monitor. Definitely passed 100 beats that game. Oh. Just took a lot of composure there. Just to, like, not hang anything. I feel like I was close to hanging a rook or a queen. Okay. Yeah, there was a game a few years ago I played Magnus, and Magnus tried the same trick of like spike checking and attacking my queen from a distance. Important to have the board vision. I don't think I'll have too much time to analyze. I mean, overall, I was just trying to be solid. Was this B5 was a new move for me. So I usually play this position as black, and I play the setup with a uh, knight of six and bishop b4. Engine says black's already for choice. 
Yeah, I thought b4. I guess I don't have bishop f3. But even this line. Have to check my uh, my theory. It was a very tense position. Like black had this super solid, annoying construction, but okay, we move on. Round number two. Oh, thank you, someone earlier getting merch. Appreciate it. All right, I have a Sicilian. Queen d3. What's the line here? It's knight f6. I'm trying to remember. I studied this line from the white side. I played this line from the white side in uh, Krigero way back when. I think I want to take. So that's of H4 and also Knight G4 could be a useful move. Maybe there's some sack ideas. Also prevents ninety six. Rook C one is coming. Hmm. Looking to castle, actually. Looks wrong, but okay, rook c7, queen a6, I hit the pawn, and then my rooks are now connected. I didn't calculate e5 though. Could be a small problem. I take on d3. Could be a big problem. Could be an interesting problem. Hmm. 
I need to take and take. Doesn't really do much. It buys me time. Uh. I'm threatening to take the or sack the queen for the rook. This doesn't work. Yeah. I'm getting mated. Interesting game. I don't think I'm too upset because it was so interesting. I feel like I had to have missed something there. Like before I check with the engine, I just want to have more time to, to calculate. Like Queen D1, Knight C2, and promoting, they're all resources. But White has this idea. I guess I should have started with this. Provoke Rook C1. But do I have anything? Ah, then Queen D2. But what if no knight c1 i take the knight yeah i had queen d1 is it winning queen d1 is is winning ah uh, white has rook b1 here and then i would have had to find the only winning move knight d1 wow yeah super complex i didn't save myself enough time Um, the opening, I think the opening was normal. I was taking time to like remember the, the lines. I took almost 20 seconds to play a move that I should have played instantly. Thank you, Estony Play. Thank you, Concupiscence. Yeah, let me see if I can find my watch. I'll be right back. Got my watch. It's not charged, but... Now it's charging. The time control is three plus one. Not a typical time control. So I think Title Tuesday is really one of the only events that has this time control. More common is three plus two. Yeah, I didn't check to see who else is playing. Ruja, Lim. Got a boatload of Grandmasters. After a6, did white have bishop b6? Ah, uh, this is a line. I don't think it works for white because after it takes, takes... I'm pretty sure there's rook a4. Rook a4, one of the moves. It's like, it's not losing for white. It's like an interesting piece sack. But, um, yeah, rook a5, also playable. The idea is to, like, not get forked. I think rook a4 looks the coolest. The knight takes e4, maybe the simplest. And then when the queen moves, like queen f3, then rook a4. Is there a difference? I guess here we just allow the fork. And then black is doing fine here. Oh yeah, bishop c7 is a threat. So nice thing about rook a4 is it gives a square for the queen. Uh, 
yeah, I played this line, um, the first game of the tournament in Gregero, Norway. I think it was the, the first classical game I played this year. Okay. Playing Jikaru. Opponent taking their sweet time. Thank you, Audacious Andy. Welcome back. How to do this? You just castle. Another line I like to play from the other side. It's weird having the white side of this position. Start with h3. Black's probably not castling. But at least h3 creates a looming idea of g g4. I'm getting off this diagonal. I was wondering if I can take take on b5 first and just take with queen. Not pretty. It was really not pretty. My queen just getting trapped? Wow. Oh, that's not good. Maybe one trick. And black could take, my queen's still trapped. Yeah. The problem is if I take again, a queen is still trapped. Such a wait, I have Queen E one though. What do you think forgot about Queen E one? I have to go for Queen E one. Oh, this whole time I thought my queen was trapped. I mean, okay, I'm losing the exchange, but at least maybe there's a little bit of life. I see three. I have to wake up.
Reminds me of the first game. <laughs> this time there's no queen d2 spite check or queen e3 spite check. Okay, what a game, man. I thought I was just losing. It took me so long to find queen e1. Like all the lines I was calculating, I like I didn't see this move. Just a complete blind spot. I wonder if it's like I unconsciously reject it because knight c2, but I think I just I was looking at forward moves. Also, queen c2, I just didn't see didn't see the backward diagonal. Okay, got the win. Not pretty though. 97. I supposed to play e5. Yeah, e5 may have been a, a slight mistake. Is f5 playable? Oh, this is interesting. Might look look into this line. White sacks a piece, but engine says it's it's very playable. Oh, everyone cheering bits. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, good to see people here. I don't feel like super sharp <laughs> this morning, but <laughs> okay. Have two wins, one loss. No Magnus, no Hikaru. Ilya Nizhnik, three out of three. Got Duda and Jeffrey Zhang. Yeah, still have a lot of strong GMs here. Fire, grass, water, psychic, lightning. Oh, what type of energy? Any type is suitable. Just need to stay awake. Is Magnus here? Control F, Magnus. Oh, he is here. I overlooked him. Okay. A point behind Magnus. One game left. Every week there's always a, a position with Rook and Knight versus Rook. Uh oh. Ha ha ha. There's a fork though, so. Ah ha ha. Would have been funny if White hung the rook and then it's another like 50 moves. Okay. Here we go. Has every single game been a Sicilian? I think every game so far has been a Sicilian. To remember this line d6 nine f6 I'm actually wondering about Bishop g5 94 but not quite happening there Play b5. Remember, this is this is one idea. There's some article about this line, some old like U.S. chess blog post. I think like Esserman had this position or some something similar, not this exact position, but I clearly remember this idea. It's like some interesting Banco type gambit. Okay. Might as well. Now I'm looking at bishop g2. Maybe I throw in takes bishop b4, bishop d2, queen a5. Because after takes, takes, queen d2, I take, take, and then take on f2. And the king would also be tied down to d2. So 
So maybe white starts, but if white starts with bishop f or bishop d2, I have queen f6 hitting f2. So I guess the question is, do I want to throw in takes? Might as well. And there's also king f1, but then queen f6. I guess there's also takes in king f1. But position looks very pleasant. If takes in king f1, I probably play rook b8, prevent rook b1. But there's also queen, queen b2. Maybe not quite. Yeah, the king wants to run, but knight controls the square. If f3, I have knight e3. So white's kind of restricted with these pieces. Bishop here, I have d6. I don't really see white's plan. I probably want the castle. If I want to be really feisty, I could play f5 eventually. I could play queen b2. As much as I don't want to trade queens, I feel like it's a good move. Because white's still going to be really tied down. Queen a4, bishop d7. Take. Take rook b1. And just castle. I guess a3 was hanging. White's still under major, major pressure. Going after d3. A nice pawn to win. Another nice pawn to win. Nice file to control. Life is good. Rook b1. Rook A1. Rook A1, Knight B3. Maybe, maybe Bishop A4 to start. Attack the Rook. And then Rook A1. I made Luft, so no worries. Uh, check, check. Maybe white will walk into mate. Maybe not. Ah, it's not mate. Uh, there. It's... 
Okay. Okay. Took a little bit of work there. It was a very pleasant game. Um, yeah, this was all part of opening prep. And I forgot the exact line. Because sometimes white will play knight g3 and then there's these h5, h4 ideas. But the position was very pleasant. I think b5 is a nice idea. Objectively, maybe it's not the best move, but let's see what Sockfish thinks. Yeah, it's up there. A lot of, a lot of playable moves for Lock. I wonder if I can find the game. There is a story that, like several years ago at the tournament, there were two games during the same round that featured this exact same line, this 94 line. Maybe it wasn't the same round, but it was the same tournament that was a slightly obscure line. Not seeing Esserman here. So I'm through out of four. My goal this tournament is to play a higher rated opponent. Ideally, Magnus Carlsen, but I assume he's still higher than me. Yeah, four out of four. Still a lot of people with four points. So yeah, if you're just joining, uh, this is the first title Tuesday of today. I'll probably play the second one too, if I can stay awake. I did lose one game, but um, I've won three. My rating has maybe gone down a, a couple points. Do you know Witty Alien? I've heard of him. I know he's a, a rising chess streamer. There is a clip when Hikaru is like watching my game against Danya. Hikaru mentions something about Wit Witty Alien and didn't know what it meant. <laughs> I played with the alien uh, a few title Tuesdays ago. Have you played Sarin before? Where's Sarin? Where is Sarin? Let's see. I haven't. I feel like I've played him on Lee Chess, though. Almost certainly played him on Lee Chess. What's your best TT result? Uh, eight points. Yeah, there was a long period where I wasn't entirely sure what my best result was. But uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago, I scored eight points. It's a recent video on YouTube. How far away from GM are you? I'm very far. I have no norms, and I'm about 140 points away from... The coveted 2500 rating. Unfortunately, you can't score GM norms in Title Tuesday. As nice as that would be, it's uh, <laughs> Title Tuesday is not FIDE rated. So 20 people with perfect scores. I wanted to find the article too. It's going to be hard to search for US Chess, Esserman, Sicilian opening. How about. Sadvakasov, B5, but that comes from a different opening. I'm really just looking for the Sicilian game. Hey, it's Chris Bird. Chris Bird used to play chess. Now he's like one of the main arbiters. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the, the game made the database either. I could like, I could opening reference Esserman's games and see if I can find it. I've never played tennis against Esserman. I've played chess against him. 
Okay, playing a fellow streamer. Gato Rojo. This might be just a quick draw. And Queen B2 is the main line. I'll try and apply pressure though. I had this last week against Peravian. Uh, what's the line? Bishop, I think it's Bishop F3. There's cases where white can apply a little bit of pressure. I blunder. I have rook, uh, rook c3. Yeah, I think we're just heading towards a draw. I made the oversight that <laughs> when black takes on c2, the rook c1's a threat. And bishop d5. Bishop d5, I have. I have this move though. Still some tricks. H4. There's bishop e4 now. I'm trying to keep the game alive. Kind of hard to do, but we'll see. Rook here, I have f3. There's f5, though. I'm calculating f5. Okay, not happening. h5.
four seconds left, but playing for a win. Actually, not sure of the valuation here. I feel like there's decent chances. No. Oh. Oh. Where is my win? I just had to queen here. I couldn't allow the king to get closer. Uh, that's disappointing. Because takes, takes, here, here. The king can't get to e3. Interesting game, though. I'm happy that I, I managed to grind my, down my opponent. It goes to show that even these, um, these seemingly boring endgame lines can... Uh, still have a lot of life to them. Bishop e4 was a blunder. But why? I guess it did allow this maneuver. I mean, so many of the positions are like just kind of drawish, but okay, what to do? Life goes on. Three and a half playing Razulov, a first higher rated opponent of this tournament for me. Um, play B6. Pretty sure I'm supposed to castle queen side in this line. I'm more familiar with the position with the bishop on g2. I know there's some ideas of like h5, h4, knight e4. Some prognananda game.
probably 94 and G5 as well. Opponent wants this. I want this. Could take with pawn. I mean, one of these things has to move, unless White wants to play g4, which is unlikely. Yeah, h4, g4 is an idea. The idea would be to play h3. Threatening knight d6. I used to bring the knight to h4 now. If knight here I take and then just checkmate. Got two attackers. Bishop d3 to f1. Kind of forgot about that move. Take. Wow. King hates.
That's not good. There is a weird line, though. He's calculating. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ah, he saw it coming. Promote, please, please. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, he's, he was well aware. It was, uh, I think queen b5 was pre-moved too. Okay, good game. Very interesting middle game. Um, very rarely do you castle queen side in these queen's gambit type positions. Um, it seemed like there was good attacking potential. I'm not sure if I could have like prepared this in any way. If I play g4, there's knight h4. I didn't consider queen f6. But now I'm realizing... Yeah, queen f6, what does white do? I think I played h4 like too quickly and spent, what, about 17 seconds on it. But queen f6, like, yeah, once I, once I consider it, it's like clearly the best move. Because if white has to take, then white squares become much weaker. Okay, so that was round five? That was round five, right? Or no, that was round six. So on the plus one score, three and a half out of six. A few games still going. Watching V Pranav. Oh, why can't I take knight with bishop? Um, at what moment, though? Oh, in this moment. Um, yeah, it was a close call. I didn't go for this because the rook comes in. I was targeting a line, knight f3, king h1. And I really wanted to do this, say, oh no, my queen, and then checkmate. But this isn't checkmate because the queen defends. So, I mean, I was very close to going into this. It's maybe still playable. I guess there's king b7 here. I could still start with knight f3. Although engine does not like black. Yeah, king eight was slightly better. But white's still much better in these lines. So I think like the biggest moment was here. I played h4, which didn't capitalize on the, the opportunity. And then, yeah, then white had more initiative on the queen side. And my knight maneuver was a little bit slow. Okay. Moving on. We've had a lot of Sicilians today. From both colors. I was studying this recently. I see six. Okay, this I didn't study recently.
What plan is this? B5, Bishop B7. Hope I don't get mated. Queen H5 is maybe coming. Queen H5, G6. What I might end up doing is reposition the bishop on G7. I actually don't understand this move. Ah, now I understand it. Just lost a pawn. Maybe it's not so bad. Rook d5. Yeah, nice thing is my light square bishop is going to be a weapon. Hopefully. This move might be coming. Yeah, getting sharp. I have to take. I'm not sure what to do against these attacking ideas. Do I have f5, and then f6, king f7? Take. Probably not. Lost a pawn. That was a very bad move. I might be threatening this, although there's bishop g1. So I guess I want to play rook d8 first. There's rook c5 too. If takes, I win the queen. Rook c5, I could take. I'm going to be down two pawns though. I have a lot of time. Yeah, queen e2 is coming. Some rook d2. Rook e1, I have knight f4. <clears throat> I think. Two is now a threat.
it's losing. Or is it? Oh, what to do? I fought. Uh, not meant to be. I had a great position, too, like around here. B4, like, somehow held everything together, though. I think I missed a chance just to take the pawn. Yeah, I realized right after, and then, like, queen f3, and I, I don't have my chance. And this is... Do I have any chance after h4? No. f4 doesn't do anything. Thank you to... Callan Apex Legends for the raid. Yeah, if you're just joining, this is not quite... Apex Legends. This is chess. Um, just had a very interesting game. I made a lot of oversights this game. Like, a, first of all, allowing this bishop h7. I guess we should note that queen h5 looks like it wins a piece, but then I have f5. Move 39. Move 39. I played the best move according to the engine. The bishop was defended, so... Like, there's this idea knight takes g2, but oh, this doesn't work because c7. It doesn't look like anything major was missed. I mean, I was much worse when we <laughs> entered this position. I was down two pawns, but somehow I got counterplay. Like, the fact that white's things were all pressured in various ways. Gave me some chances. So that was round seven. On 50%, losing some rating, playing Eric Ronka. Shout out to my opponent, also streaming. Okay. Another Sicilian. Oops. I don't even know how I pre-moved that. I didn't even mean to click the mouse. Take back? Nah. Okay, I'll play a, a Grand Prix attack down a tempo. <laughs> it's basically like an English opening. It'd be nice if my opponent plays b6, b5 to get back the tempo. Okay, I'm playing some version of a close Sicilian. Play a4, might as well. Yeah, the plan is g4. Sometimes the king goes here if the queen comes here. And then there's a typical idea to maneuver the knight to g3, especially if b4 happens. From my experience, it can still be hard to actually attack, like even with this pawn phalanx, phalanx. But it does look scary. A nice thing about the knight coming to g3 is I control h5. So I was going to say that g5 can be more effective. I think here, yeah, let's start with e5. Black is maybe wanting to play f6. 
I'll still play knight g3. For f6, I can either take or play queen e2 or rook e1. Want to prepare d4. Black might play d4. But that gives me the e4 square. Now d4. So now it resembles a French. We might see rook 8. And then bishop e3. Connect the rooks. Actually, rook eight, I take and then take and then take. And black has no time for bishop a6. Could take with knight, but I'd rather not trade minor pieces. Oh, there's rook f3 maybe coming. I think rook f3, queen f3, knight d4, and then I win. Yeah, next move I just want to complete development. So this dumb f3 move on move 3, it's working out. My f-pawn is now an e-pawn. Time-wise, it's very good as well. Yeah, so bishop a6 is now a threat. I'm going to just go for knight g5. Rook c5. Mm.
Okay. Uh, I mean, Pontex Bishop is winning for Black. <laughs> Queen G6 came unexpectedly. Man. Not the cleanest game. I'll take it. Oh, what a game. That was round eight, right? We're due for a break. I'm due for a break. Thank you, Audacious Andy. Okay. Trying to salvage the, the tournament. Four and a half. There are three games to go. Yeah, it's such a big time advantage. And then, okay, despite this weird opening. I just like burn so much time, not sure what to do. I'm actually curious, like what are what are the options for white? Engine already prefers black. That's actually kind of surprising. We go back. Yeah, so it's really nothing special. Like visually the position looked nice, but I guess black has all the queen side play and it's hard for me to do much on the king side. I wonder if I was ever, like, much better this game, bringing it into Lee Chess. So according to the Masters database, F3 is a novelty. <laughs> Uh, but at least that's database, I'm sure it's been played. Seventy-three thousand games in this position—that's insane. Probably due to most people mouse slipping. Eleven million games in this position. That's why I love the Leech chest database. Fun to see the stats. So, wow, still 15 games from this position. Where was the novelty? Four games from this position. I love how there's a lot of transpositions too. So we we're, we were still following uh, at least one game. Ah, that's so funny. Okay, so this position has 27 occurrences. So queen e2 on move 17 was a novelty. I'm mainly interested to see this um this graph. Like what were my missed opportunities? Knight knight f5. Knife f5. Even seeing the move and the evaluation, I don't understand it. Oh, now I understand it. Takes there's e6. And somehow it doesn't work here. E6. Ah, because the queen helps defend. So here, it was more effective. That's such a hard move to consider in a blitz game. And then there's a spike here. Rook C4. Yeah, I was looking to use the diagonal. At this point, I was already kind of low on time. Rook C4. This makes sense. 
So I miss rook c4. And then... Ah, I had it again. Ah. Yeah, here it's just more clean. And then here I wanted to take on c4 with a queen. But black's queen is defended. And this end, end game I don't think is good for white. Because black has a c3 break. And then around here, it looked like black was just going to crush me because my king is so weak on h3. And this queen is ridiculous. But somehow, yeah, momentum shifted when I played knight f6. Even though the engine says white's dead lost, it, it became easier to play. Bishop e4. So after it takes, I was going to take back... Ah, there's knight g6. My pawn is pinned. It'd be funny to play rook a8, threatening rook h8 checkmate, but just not in time. Okay, let me check this watch. About two minutes. Yeah, trying to uh, to just stay awake. Games have been a bit messy today. A lot of swings. But at least I'm staying awake. I close out my Lee Chess tabs. Here we go. Clutch is greater than clean. That's true. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather be clutch than clean. So, oh, V Pranav in clear first. Ilya Nizhnik doing well. Seven on eight. Magnus kind of struggling, at least for his standards. Got Minlay. I played a few games against Minlay yesterday. I was just playing off stream and then. I randomly got paired with him. He was streaming. He crushed me in three games. It was fun, though. Feruja really struggling. I'm a point behind Feruja. Okay, back to emote only mode. Probably be black next game. Unless I'm white. Hey, I'm white. Okay. Here we go. I'm sticking with this repertoire. At some point, I might mix things up. had this line earlier. We had the that end game line where I had some chances very late in the game. Rookie eight knight takes d5. This was a position I had in my final round of guitar. I think I just take the knight now. Pretty sure b4 some vague memory of prepping this. And I last looked at this a few weeks ago. And C3 is also a move. Yeah, if queen b2, I can play C3.
allowing the trades. I mean, there's probably some very small edge with just with the pawn structure. I'm not sure how meaningful it is. Play queen f4? No. Take and then queen f4. Take, 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 check there. Yeah, rookie three is a move. I probably just want to take and play rookie one next. Queen d4 if I get the chance. I guess I'm also threatening take and queen e3, although there's queen b1 in the end. Okay. And queen c5 is looming. Trying to massage the weaknesses. And how does black defend now? Because rook c, I win the pawn. So there's no a5, I take and hit the rook. White can't really, or black can't really counterattack. Bubble pawn. H3 is a move. Over defend this. I want to mobilize a rook. And eventually I want to start pushing the queen side pawns. Calculations G4, F4, E4, C4.
And this is like the final game of the World Championship match between Magnus and Bobby. Okay. Uh, and still not easy to convert that with the time situation, but yeah, once we got I, once we got to this position after G three, I think this is a clutch move. It should be winning for White. It was probably drawing at some point before then. Like Black played well to yeah this this E four and Rook C seven I think was. A nice resource. Okay. Got the win there. Five and a half, two games to go. Um, I can take this game to Lee Chess just to quickly analyze. I'm tied with Pragnananda. It'd be cool to play Pragnananda next game. Trying to catch up to Ferruja. I'm pretty sure B4 is still some prep. Yeah. Yeah, B4 was the extent of my like engine prep in Qatar. Um I mean, it's like slightly, slightly better for white. Nope. New game. Okay. Not playing Prognananda. Yeah, this is a playable line. I think Kravnik has played this setup with white in the past. Like bishop d3. Okay. Well, this is new territory. Queen a5 comes to mind. Hope I'm not walking into some trap. Queen a5, take, take. So the point is I lose my knight, but in the event of the trade, I win the rook in the end. Also hitting this. Now there's now three attackers against the pin knight. Bishop d2, I don't mind taking. And then winning e5. So this might be the critical line. If white moves a king, then I take the pawn. So take, 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 take. Bishop d2, I take the rook with check. King d1, so take. King e2, I take. There's lines where white gets bishop a3, but then I take on a2. Yeah, so white's definitely not in opening prep anymore. <laughs> I vaguely recall e5 like isn't so playable for white. There's similar lines where e5 can be played. A3. And I have a lot of choices here. I can take on e5. Can take on c3 with either piece.
And let's take some bishop e2. Maybe I just take on c3. Let's just keep things simple. Because when I take on e5, I'm threatening like discoveries and also the c-pawn. Like bishop e2, I'm happy to go up two pawns. Actually, bishop e2, maybe I take with knight rather than queen. Yeah, that's probably the best try. Let's take... Ah, oh, there's bishop e5 in the end. Yeah, white gets counterplay. Queen f6 is actually kind of funny. Preserve the knight. Maybe you just want to play d5 next. Bishop d3, and then I take on c3. G5 should be on my radar. Along with E5. I'm winning another pawn here. The in between move. It still takes work. Rook d3. Yeah, the king gets to c8. Or C7. Pawns are smiling. Wait, what did I do? what I just did there. Can't believe it. I'm so sad. Oh man, now I have to fight to not lose.
Move here, please. Move here, please. Oh no, my rook. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I did there. I just completely spazzed out playing this a6 move. Oh, what was I calculating? I think I was calculating king b7 and then a6. I played a6 like a move too soon. And it's still almost winning. Although here... Yeah, checking was not the best way to play for a win. I guess I have to go for f3, but this might already be even dangerous because like here here is f3 still winning oh, this is already a draw i had one job like not to lose my pawns i mean even taking is winning the a6 was just so bad what to do um, I got stalemated. You got a Rosen trophy for that. Pretty sure the opening was was really really nice. No time to analyze though. Okay, we move on. Final round. If I win this game, I'll finish with seven. Been playing a lot of scotch. And it's super solid. Not bad for blitz. Opponent taking time. Bishop e4 is a move here. Knight takes e4 also a move. A pre move knight takes e4. <laughs> uh Okay, bishop c5, this is playable. Doesn't have the best reputation. Always play king b1. Wow, h5. So black's not casting king side. There's f4. I'm gonna just play f4. Pawns should really be on dark squares anyway. I like squared bishop. Casting queenside loses a7. c5 loses d6. h3, wow. A very risky play from black. Combine h5 and castling. I still have to prove it though. I have e5, it's a lot of attractive looking moves. Maybe bishop d3 first. It does allow c5 with tempo, but then I'm thinking after queen f2, then e5 is coming. I 
There's also G5. Or a G4. Yeah. And it's mainly intuitive. Like takes takes. There's gonna be rook g1. Be a little bit surprised if black takes actually. Okay, now e5. Or maybe now I just go after the pawn. Start with queen f2. Simple chess. Attacking the undefended pawn. And now g5. So cutting off the defense. Some knight d5 idea. It's actually kind of aesthetic. In the event of takes takes, it opens a file and the diagonal. And F five. I do give away the e5 square, but I just want to win connect four. Now I was thinking knight d5. Take, take. There, there. Because the prospect of g6 is really nice, like g6 or f6. Or knight f6 if the knight stays on the board. I'm catching a predator. I'm thankful I'm not the prey. Yeah, knight of six is I think just a, a very feel good move. Rook g1 unstoppable. Okay, maiden 12. <laughs> Queen f6. All right, finished with seven points. I think I lost a little bit of rating this tournament, but. Had some fun games. Could have been worse. Had some messy games. I think this last one was pretty clean. My opponent did, did not want to go to the, the main line for Knight Scotch and played what should be a dubious sideline. Actually surprised, the engine still says it's close to equal. So I thought this move is like clearly better for white. Let's see. The Lee Chess engine might differ. Wait, what? Lee Chess bugging. Oh no. There we go. Yeah, so on chess.com, the engine was giving like plus 0.1 something. Lee Chess, it gives plus 0. 0.7. Depth 20. Depth 36. Yeah, because Lee Chess uses a cloud engine. So it's like, it's substantially more powerful, especially in, in these opening positions that it's analyzed before. Wow. It's crazy. Like, out of what seemed to be a very innocent opening from black, like, it's already plus two in white's favor. But goes to show the downside of like conceding the center. And in pretty clean game, I made a couple mistakes. F3 was a mistake. <laughs> made a couple mistakes today with F3. Bishop B5 check, C6. Ah, uh, C6 
weakens d6 and bishop d7 it's already plus six because knight takes we win the pawn and if queen takes e5 is just crushing that's actually a really nice idea bishop b5 but it requires to understand like the a few different branches thank you zet tree happy three months I do plan to stream this afternoon, which means I'll probably wrap things up shortly. Uh, big thanks to everyone who I did or did not acknowledge over the last couple hours. Um, I guess I'll, I, I do have alerts unmuted, emote only mode is off. Can you check your stalemate match? How many stalemates did I have today? I assume you're referring to this game. Yeah, I wanted to analyze the opening of this game. Oh, tournament's over. Congratulations, Magnus Carlsen, AKA Santa Claus. Jeffrey Zhang also tying for first. Andraken in third. Wow, so Magnus fought his way back. Who's former prodigy? Oh, David Navarra. Wow. A lot of people tying for third. No Hikaru today. Yeah, Hikaru is probably probably recovering from Grand Swiss. Maybe he'll come back for a later title Tuesday. Why did I not take with Knight? Oh, maybe in the opening. Are you referring to this position? Yeah, I was really spoiled for choice here. If I take with knight, I think I was mainly concerned about pawn takes, white sacks exchange, and then like the structure looks a little bit ugly. It's probably still preferable for black, but... Yeah, let me check it, um, have the game open here. Ah, yeah, there was a Kramnik Kasparov game. Kramnik beating Kasparov. Yeah, so Bishop D3 is like the, the main line. E5. E5 looks scary for black. There's like some queen g4 ideas as well, but I don't think it works tactically. And then here, yeah, because there's so many candidate moves, like taking with either piece or taking on e5. Engine likes a lot of things. Engine is just saying castling too, also very playable. But I played, yeah, what seems to be the simplest approach. I didn't take on c3 because I guess I was scared of bishop d2, but then I can take on e5. I maybe should have gone for that. I was happy with queen f6, like leaving the knight attacked, but white can't take it because c3 hangs. And then, I mean, kudos to my opponent for like surviving what looked like a bad position and then fighting in the end game until I I just had this slip with a6. Uh, okay. Best response to bishop opening. Assume you're asking about this opening. Knight f6 or knight c6. The two most standard moves. And then it can depend what white does. Like one thing I like to do sometimes is knight f6. And if white plays a combination of d3 and knight c3, let's say d3, knight c3, uh, there's a nice move knight a5, which this move doesn't always work, but in this specific position, black is now guaranteed to trade knight for bishop. And then you get the bishop pair going into the middle game. Thank you, tilt x. 
Happy 18 months. Are people having problems viewing the stream? It's working for me. Sometimes there can be server issues. Sometimes you just have to refresh. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap things up. Stay tuned for part two of Title Tuesday, starting in just less than four hours. <laughs>